Hello everybody, Skull Kid Gaming back again with some cool Zelda Breath of the Wild stuff. Hello everybody, my name is Skull Kid and welcome back to another Zelda Breath of the Wild unboxing video. Today we are unboxing this wonderful guidebook right here. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that this video may contain slight game spoilers. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take the plastic off of this guidebook. And here we have a bit of information as well as, of course, the book and with its magnificent back cover. So essentially I just went to pick this up at EB Games because I had pre-ordered this a long time ago on Amazon and I discovered this morning that apparently they weren't gonna ship it before May for some reason. So now I ran over to EB Games to get this just in case, well because I didn't want to wait so long. So we're back with the amazing collector's edition of the Zelda Breath of the Wild guidebook. So yes, this is the collector's edition. It has full art on the front and has a little art section at the back. So we're gonna take a quick look at this guide right now. You can get this guide for $40 and there is the non-collector's edition that you can obtain for $30. This one is hardcover and yeah, it's really nice. It's textured like this is a matte finish and this is a glossy finish like the part where it, there's the cliff. So this is a really neat idea. And right here we have a little info about the book, just at a glance. So it's dangerous to go alone, take this. And then there's a little message here ab about the um, piggyback guide team. It says, at a glance walkthroughs, puzzle master comprehensive references, 100% authoritative, and expert combat strategy. And the special edition, or sorry, the collector's edition includes a two-sided fully annotated map poster covering the immense game area, the ultimate navigational aid, and as a bonus, it's printed on superior art paper, extra large map poster, bonus 16 page concept art, tour with a hand-picked illustration, premium hardcover, so that's pretty much all what you get extra in the collector's edition. Here you get a bit better look at what type of stuff you'll find inside this book. Anyways, let's put this aside and look at the book itself. So right away when I open the book, we see, oh, this is really premium. There is the map poster right here, which is annotated apparently, so we're gonna open this in just a sec but here we have the book look at that you can see it's really premium quality table of content lots of neat little things um, okay so there's even some interviews Shiger, uh, Eiji Anuma right there uh, translated and even in Japanese uh, there is the quick start section the Primer, um, which there is actually a, this chapter, the Primer, there is a My Nintendo reward where you can get it digitally for 10 gold points of this chapter. So this pretty much says the basics of, of how the game looks and what it is like. Lots of cool stuff, of course it's written pretty small, so I don't know. The Deluxe Edition is coming out at the end of March and it is bigger like so it might be a bit different so it talks to you about the basics and stuff like that um, so here it talks about the runes the puzzles the shrines and here we have the walkthrough section so I won't actually go to this because this is probably where you'll get the most spoilers out of this whole thing um, but if we go um, through the first little introduction section we have a crash course 
a map legend, stuff like that. Um, you see you have some nice annotated maps with some info on the side. Some basic stuff, step-by-step walkthrough. Here we have um, a walkthrough of the first shrine, the Magnesis Trial, and kind of places of interest to go. So this looks like it's pretty in-depth. Um, then here we have kind of second shrines, more things, Kinamut Shrine, Awadame Shrine. And here we have Seek Out Impa, which is kind of actually further in the game, so I will stop going through the walkthrough section now. Okay, here we have a section about shrines, so I think this um, is bringing you um, how to solve all the shrines. So this chapter has been designed to guide you through all shrines and when applicable, the challenges required to reveal them. Throughout the chapter we use sequences of annotated screenshots with accompanying captions. These highlights essential actions that need to be performed, providing at a glance solutions to all puzzles. Okay, so here we have the side quest section of the guide with a nice little guardian image right there. Uh, talking about the towers and dueling peak tower region. Lots of interesting stuff. Um, priceless Maracas um, here with uh, Hets, Hets 2 and um, stuff like that. Of course, more spoilers in here. So we're gonna go skip through the inventory part. Here we have the inventory section. Uh, this chapter provides complete inventory lists and statistics, including parameters that are hidden in the game, but can be of crucial importance by learning how to make more informed selections. You can opt for the best possible equipment in any given situation. So, we're gonna skip completely through this, because I don't want any sort of thing to be spoiled for me. And here we have the Bestari. So the Bestari is giving you information on lots and lots of enemies. Choo Choo's, the Keys, the Whiz Robes, the Octo Rocks. I am gonna definitely use this section because I don't know their names and stuff and this is giving you interesting strategies. Bokoblins, Moblins. And of course, the last part are the extras. This chapter covers activities and challenges that are not listed in your adventure log, many of which contribute to your overall completion rate. We also document and discuss a, var a variety of uh, optional objectives, ranging from mini-games to secret missions and features. So very interesting stuff in this section. Um, lots of maps, oh sub-bosses, we don't want Korok seeds, mini games, we don't want to spoil this. Okay, so now we're coming to the most interesting section of this. Okay, so here we have the art section. This section is only included in the collectors and deluxe edition of the guide. And here you can see some really interesting concept art of early Link and how the Sheikah Slate had an eye that was completely different. So this is really interesting. The old man, the Zora, the Gerudo, the Rito, and the Goron. And here, of course, there's lots of wildlife to be seen in this game. Lots of enemies, some spoilers, some shrine ideas, Hyrule and dungeons, that's really interesting, some patterns to be seen. And of course, at the end, we have the index for the book. So, that's all interesting. And one last thing before we wrap up this video is that I wanted to, um, is that if you purchase the Deluxe Edition, which is coming out on March 31st, um, it actually has uh, 16 more pages of art that is in tribute to the 30 30th anniversary of Zelda. So in the Collector's Edition, there's only art, um, concept art for this game, and in the Basic Edition, there's no art whatsoever. It's just the guide, and of course, the Basic Edition is paperback, and doesn't have this beautiful textured hardcover picture, and it also doesn't include the poster. But of course, right before 
we end off this video, I just wanted to take a quick look at the annotated map and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we have our annotated map. So let's carefully unfold it. This is a pretty big... This is actually a huge poster. So on one side, we have some kind of landmarks that are interesting to go visit. We have the legend here, and then, of course, uh, lots of lots of annotated stuff on a huge world map. On the other side, we have this little thing, um, but of course this is also put on a map, and there is still a map on this section of the poster. So definitely lots of cool things about this map, probably quite a bit of spoilers on this map too, who knows, but this, um, this map is really cool, but this book, my god, it is so great. So anyways guys, I think that's pretty much all we had to cover for this book. So thank you guys so much for watching, let me know down in the comments below if you'll be picking up this book. And so, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. And of course, don't forget to share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and all things gaming right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Have a great day everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.